Welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl and I. And your boy, Stanley. All right, before we get into this, we don't know, for all of you all that follow our Queen Sugar Reviews, we don't know if it will be out tomorrow. My husband has to travel tomorrow, which is our recording day. We still may be able to make it happen some kind of way. So if y'all don't see that, y'all will know what the deal is. Exactly. Is that this week, our schedule is tighter than a virgin, so it is what it is. <laughs> so, let's get into Empire. Welcome to all the new family members. We're glad to have you. Mm -hmm. To all the family members that keep coming back. Y'all know what to do. Kick back, relax. Y'all know. We're going to take y'all on the ride. I don't know where we're going to end up at. Yes, I do. Ford Motor Company. All roads lead there. <laughs> and don't forget to subscribe. Hit that like button. And make sure you subscribe. Hit that bell. Yeah, the so bell when, is important. So when the videos come out, you be the first to know. Hello. Hey. So this week, it didn't really give us much. And I'm really trying to figure out what is uh, the direction of Empire because Can I we, say something? Yeah. Go ahead. You I always, know that you finished your No, I was going to say, we can't keep going on this non-clicked in Lucia's Lions. Because Lucia's and Cookie's dynamic makes the show. Mm -hmm. So this right here, you taking us on a path that we didn't sign up for. Yeah. And I don't know how much longer we can stay here because i'll yeah. quit yeah I, I was gonna kind of say the same thing but i i was wondering because you know empire had a whole lot of bad rap in the streets they would say they they put black people on back people, what's people? <laughs> we black folk in a bad light with the the fame the fortune the violence you know the stereotypical stuff that we do so I wonder if they trying to turn a corner. So I'm making him I, delayed? You know what I'm saying? As far as try to make Empire a little bit more positive. But that ain't why we signed up. Yeah, I mean, if I wanted we to be positive, up, I'd yeah. look at that y'all fix my life. Yeah, we signed up for the ratchetness. Because <laughs> we know this is just a TV show. And yeah. we know that some black folk and white folk get ready and Chinese say. folk, Italian folk, all the folks on the ice. Shut up, Stephanie. Have the booze skit. Yes. Have their stereotypical stuff that they do. It's in the cultures. So why do we get blown out the out the water when we see it on TV? Because if you're mad, because it's you. <laughs> I'm going to do this review. And I'm going to go to bed because I don't have time for this tonight. I really don't. So listen. <sighs> we start off with we got Diana Dubois. She's basically briefing her family on how to take down the lions one by one, just like characters from The Wizard of Oz. Look, Andre, he... the hell was that? Oh. Andre, he values the fact that he is a mastermind, so y'all go for his mind. That Jamal, go for his heart. Mm -hmm. I got um, Hakeem, and um, hey, you cute little thing right there, I'm assigning you to Andre. Take him down. And of course, you got old boy over there that he's already on Jamal. Mm -hmm. So I'm sitting here like, okay... Diana, what we gonna do? But then all of a sudden, we looked over in the corner and we see a drunk Han Pot Councilman Tay D. Tow up. He over there Drinking got the scotch. Over there got scotch and in his god darn feelings. He says, so now that y'all want to take down the lions one by one, I mean, what character am I going to take down? Oh, I forgot. I got. I get to walk Tito. No, Toto. <laughs> Toto. I get to take down Toto. <laughs> he said, do I have any value in this um family? Mama, mama said, said you the one that started all this booze kit. <laughs> you know, never mind. What you gonna say? I just thought about something. Cause you y'all don't really need to know this because it don't really matter to y'all. But YouTube is on some ish right now. They desensitizing everybody's um uh, material and every t and they have this robot that goes through your videos and if they think you cussing or da 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 they taking away your monetization, which at the end of the day it don't make it ain't a big deal to us because we work. But at the same time, don't be blankly stealing from me when I know we don't cuss. That's right. I think when we say bullskit, they think we cuss. I can't stop saying my bullskit. I ain't going to stop saying that's what make us, man. You, you ain't going to change me. Yeah, that's my substitute cuss word. Uh-huh. I say bullskit all the time. Yeah. So. If the robot um, don't know that bull and skit is not bull, shh. Buck you. Yeah. <laughs> Why well, keep hearing all these noises tonight? You are? You straight? 
No. You sure you had all that scotch that uh Kazma tape? Andre did. Right? Andre did give me a Tylenol earlier. Oh, he did. You sure it wasn't one of his pills? <laughs> so um, we see that we're still dealing with a non-clicked in Lucius, and Claudia is on a leave of absence, which I was happy about. Hmm. So now he is in the sole care of his family, Juanita. Was it somebody else over there? I don't know. I don't know. It don't even matter like my brief sir. No, I'm thinking you think about that lady that's over at Hakeem's to get the dough. That's oh, what yeah. I think you're thinking about. Nah, they won't know that Lucius house. So, the one thing that I will say about a delayed um, and non-clicked in Lucius is that he's asking questions and he seems to really want the answers. Because he told his family, he said, listen. I need y'all to stop dancing around me. I need y'all to tell me the real deal, holy be field. Because straight, be straight with me. Y'all trying to protect me, but it seemed like y'all trying to protect me from me. Mm -hmm. My mama, before we took her, like Jay said, take her, took her to Shady Pines, she said that I was a monster. So I need y'all to tell me who this monster was. So Hakeem ain't hesitate to say, hey, you punched me in the face. He said, well, why would I do something <laughs> like that? Because you, you. He said, oh, Jamal, tell him, tell him about that trash can. Jamal said, mm-mm, uh -uh. mm-mm. Like, like Monique said, mm-mm. But it seemed like the only time that he go into that little sunken place and go crazy is when hardcore rap music's playing. Yeah! So it's like his old lifestyle is what really triggers him, but when they tell him what he did, he fine. Yeah, he's he, fine. He's... I'm, I'm did, so sorry did I did I really? that, dude, that I did that to you. He said, cookie. You know, you say you were gone for 17 years. I mean, why would you go where you were? <laughs> I don't, I still don't think they, that even though he in that state, I still don't think they trust him. Hell no. Because if they put their full trust and think they got to change daddy and he snap out and say, I got y'all. That's going to crush them even worse, man. I swear. I don't, I don't even know that's even going to happen now, man. It's, three it's got to happen. We three episodes in, he still ain't right. He walking back. Yeah, he, walks with he, he, got, he got that prosthetic leg, man. So he, yeah, he good. So, um, Jamal and, um, Lulu end up, um, having this conversation about music. You know, he wanted, you know, Lucius was interested in knowing how do you come up with music? Like, how do you I take a like, beat? What? And how do you take a lyric and put it together? And like, da -da -da -da. What? So, Jamal said, let me go ahead and take you to Empire. Well, Lucius um actually suggested it first, but y'all know he ain't supposed to be seen by nobody because they don't want nobody to know that he got you know a brain injury or whatnot. So Jamal finally got the hookup where Thirsty was able to sneak him into Empire and they took him around a little bit and he was like, So I did all of this? I, I built... own all of this. He said, even this right here. And he don't sat there and just stole the goddamn door candy. <laughs> like a little kid. Yeah. <laughs> no, took it. I said, you know what, I came with you. So they finally took him to Studio 3. And you all know that Studio 3 is where everything goes down. Because mm -hmm. Studio 3 is basically where Lucius laid down his tracks for, what, 48 hours, 72 hours, something like that. Yeah. And basically, they feel like the energy of Empire is in Studio 3. So they took him to Studio 3, show him the soundboard, show him the en engineering board, all of this stuff. He clued it. And he just, he he ain't clicked just, in yet. It just, it just clued it. And I thought but, at some point when Jamal was playing that song that they wrote together that he was clicking it because I started seeing colors and stuff. And I said, well, maybe the colors is going to bring him back he in. Just, he just, the music just sounded good to him. It like, just sounded like good to him. Like the music did to me this past weekend, but <laughs> that don't, don't, it don't even matter. I don't even know the name, but I was trying uh, Yeah, I don't even know the name of the song. But it, it's so funny because in real life, typically when people have a brain injury uh -huh. that... If you put them back in the environment where their genius was, mm -hmm. it'll it'll come back. It will come back, and they might not remember your name. They might not remember where they live at. But if they get back in their genius or that that their yeah, main yeah. gift, it kind of like kicks back in. Like I think, like I know several people that they stutter when they talk. Let them sing though. But let them sing. Or cuss you out. Oh yeah, that too. <laughs> but if they sing, man, they can sing so good and won't stutter not they bit. It's almost like the the gift of God just surpasses the the oh frailties shit. of the human nature. That was real good for being this late at night. You like that? Yeah. The frailties of the human nature. Say, I don't have time for this. Night. Only God can do that. <laughs> Speaking of God. <laughs> You remember when I realized that preacher um, I mean um, that preacher stuttered? Yeah. 
and I didn't know, and I thought he was having a stroke. Yeah, you were staring at his mouth. I was like, man, because I've never heard him talk. I've never heard knew, him preach. I just, I just knew you knew that. And he started talking to me, and he said, <laughs> and I thought he was having a stroke. So I was like, and Stan was like, he stutters. I was like, oh, I thought, I thought I'm you about to that. call 911 or something. I thought you. So at this point, I don't even know. I don't know what's gonna snap me. I don't know if he, they need to do a seance or, you know, dip him in the poop. Or Give him some weed. We to bring you back. Mm -hmm. We let you know. Evil when evil lurks. <laughs> Can I get some killer kush or something? Something. I, I mean, I'm done with this. So, we got Lucius in the studio. Now, this is what tripped me out. As high security as Empire is, why all of a sudden on the day that y'all don't snuck Lucius lines into Studio 3, everybody seems to just pop up mm -hmm. in Studio 3. First, we had Moonshot. Well, no, first we had um, Hakeem's friend. Yeah. Can't remember his name at the moment. Don't even matter. But he came up there wanting to take um, Jamal. I said Jamal. Yeah, Jamal's yeah. friend. Wanted to take Jamal to lunch. Jamal was like, hey, not a good time. Yeah. Working on some music. And he basically pushed him out the door. Okay, got rid of him. Next thing we know, Moonshine. Mm -hmm. As Lucius called him. And I'm trying to figure out. So, how? Luke, are so, so you clicked in? You, so you can remember a 20-something-year-old relationship, and you can remember that we used to do rap music together. But then we used to do rap music, and oh. I did rap music while we never no, did really. anything. How do you remember that y'all didn't do anything together? That's yep. what I want to know. Mm -hmm. And, who, and, and how did you know him by Moonshine? Cause I ain't never heard I, nobody yeah, call him Moonshine. He's he been shining since day one he walked on the train. So I'm like, okay, and I know Cookie has been briefing him on a whole lot of stuff, trying to make him remember certain things so when people approach him that he doesn't seem like he's off. But I've never even heard Cookie call him Moonshine. I ain't never heard him call him Heart. So moonshine. I'm like, okay, Lucius, have you halfway clicked in and you just trying to play everybody because now you want to hear how everybody really feels about you? Mm-hmm. I, I, don't, I don't know. Well, that might be the game right there. Let me see what they really think about me. <laughs> Well, you don't need to act, act delusional for that because they done told you that they think you a ho and they can't stand you and they hate you. For real, So for you real. wouldn't even need to do that. So Jamal and his father got to talking and he said, listen, you, your brother said something about trash can. What was that all about? And Jamal got all his feelings as he should have. And he basically told him, said, listen, back in the day when I was little, I came down the hall, down the steps with mama's high heel shoes on and her skull around my, right around my neck and you threw me in a trash can. So I was not accepting of you? <laughs> oh my God, I'm so sorry that I was not accepting of who you really are. And the bad part about it, he sounds so sincere. Very sincere. Sincere, yeah. He would almost fool somebody. But even when he was Lucius lying, he still sounds sincere. <laughs> when he came across with the deals to sock him in A, he still said, so it, I don't know, man. I, I don't know. So, so we got Jamal. He don't even crying. remember Thirsty, man. Yeah, Thirsty was like, Thirsty was like, he said it's me, Thirsty. He said that's oh, a yeah. nice name. Yeah, that's a nice name for a smooth dude like, like you <laughs> with them nice suits and stuff you be wearing. <laughs> I'm like, at least thought you could remember Thirsty. All the skit that he don't got you out. Hello. Of. So then we see that um, we're gonna we're not gonna talk about everything, but we came to a point where um, Cookie was like, listen. We need some liquid capital right here. We need some money so that we can do this 20 for 20. And what we're going to have to do is, Andre, get your tail up. We need to go to the bank. Andre said, listen, if I don't know nothing else, I know how to get some money. So let me do the talking. You do the walking. Let's mm -hmm. go to the bank. So when they got to the bank, as soon as they sat down with the um, the guy that does corporate loans, uh -huh. um, I already knew. He wanted the guy they normally deal with. Because everybody in the Dubois family has a look about them. Yeah. So when he sat down there with them circle glasses on, I said, he a part of the family. Uh -huh. he, a, he, a, he a plan. So he said, listen, you have everything in order. Your, your T's across, your I's are dotted. But at this moment, we're we're actually looking at a whole bunch of um, our, um, our applications that come in, especially for the music industry. And we're being really, really careful about what money we give out. And Cookie said, you know what? It's boosket. Boosket, 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 and boosket. Before we even sat down, you already had the answer 
that you that you would want to present to us before mm -hmm. we even gave you the spill. So I'm not gonna give you the satisfaction of even trying to get you to change your mind. Yep. But let I'm gonna let you know. I smell bullshit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And walked up out there, put her glasses on, and went on about the business. And I said, mm -hmm, here, Dubois. Yeah. So then we saw over there. Because Cookie's been doing this photo shoot. So now it was time to do a photo shoot with the rest of the ladies. So who is at the photo shoot but Diana Dubois? <laughs> and Cookie comes in and everybody else is dressing their white and cream and, you know, little eggshell white and whatnot. Top. Cookie comes in there with her egg and purple on. Huh? Egg. Looking. I said, don't they want that? that looking like, was... looking like you looking. <laughs> I said that lace, the lace was lifting up. Cookie, ain't nobody, ain't nobody catch that in production or nothing. Yeah. I said, come on. All here. right now, Portia, y'all slipping down. I said, okay. So they're doing the photo shoot, and well, before they even sat down to do the photo shoot, Cookie was hearing Miss Dubois talking about all they biz naive. Yeah, about the loan that they didn't get. Now, first of all, if you, if you, this won't you, how would you even know that? Yep. So she talking about some, yeah, you know they apply for a low, they could get a low. They did, they did, they did, they did. So when they sat down on the couch to do the, um, do the group photo shoot, Cookie couldn't get it together. Cookie was like, you know what? Let me go ahead and stop this photo shoot right here. I'm so sorry. I got a lot going on right now. And as you can tell, me and this lady right here, we got bad blood between us. Yeah. But at this moment, I want to be the bigger person, you know, and it is what it is. I was denied for a loan today. I have a company to run. I don't know what I'm going to do without this money. I got to go. I got to go and find this paper. And one of the ladies that was in the photo shoot, the white lady, one of the ones that Ms. Dubois was talking to about Cookie's business, yep. was like, hold on, huh? She said, you know what? When my husband had a heart attack and I was left to run the company by myself, I was did the same God darn way. They Wouldn't denied me they too. They denied me too because I'm a woman. She said, you know what? Bump all that. I got you. 10 mil. I put you 10 mil. Cookie was like, like what? what? Then the rest of the ladies was in the back was like, like I'm in. Us ladies need to take care of each other. So then we saw when well, Cookie had this flashback, which I really did appreciate this part. That prison, yeah. She went back to her prison days, and when she first got into prison, of course, she was trying to, you know, scope out the atmosphere, scope out the ladies that she was going to be in housing with. And this one girl, Tilda, yep. if y'all don't know nothing about if love oh, of you is wrong, wrong. That's right, she that's ain't even came on out of flow yet. No, she hasn't. Nah, she got that money she now. She got that money. Yeah. She, she, she cruising now. It's the only time we come around when we broke and hungry. <laughs> So that's Tilda, true. That day. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not doing it with you tonight. So Tilda shows up and she's asking Cookie, say, hey, where you from? Da, 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 da. And she was like, I'm from Philly. Well, what part? Well, Tilda went to reach back to give um, Cookie a pair of shower slippers, but it really looked like she was about to shank her. Yeah. Cookie knocked her tail out so mm. goddamn fast that she didn't know what to do. So fat. What you gonna say? I gotta say you from Jersey. You know better than to do that. Philly. I mean, yeah, I mean Philly. Yeah, you know better than to go back like this. Yeah, you don't do that. You don't do that, especially if you that close. Mm-hmm. You back? No, you, you say you up. say hold up. I got I these got flip, I got these flip flops for you. I got these flip flops for you back here. What? I got these flip flops for you back Why here. Why do you sound like a Mississippi pimp? Yeah, that's what you know. That's how you got. You gotta make it. You know, like you, I got these flip flops. That's how. Don't say it no more. Don't say it no more. I don't have time for this tonight. I really just don't. And my God, don't. Is one of my shoulders like lopsided or something? Because why did this keep happening? To I don't that? know, but I got these flip flops <laughs> back here. <laughs> Sally, I'm not doing it with you today. I'm really not. I'm gonna call your mama. That's what I'm gonna do. Hey, she coming up here tomorrow. You can wait till tomorrow to tell her. Oh, I'm gonna tell her everything. And as soon as she coming out, say, I got these flip flops. Because <laughs> you. you know she takes my side, so. Yeah, she does. She really does. Oh, yeah. Everybody in your family takes my side. That's all right. Is my mama watching this shit? I think she is. Yeah, I pray for her. <clears throat> so, um, so yeah, fast forwarding through that, um, what, what was it? I can't think. Have yeah, so after that, after that incident, she had came back to make amends and, you know, apologize yeah. and say, you know, we, we need to stick together. 
uh, as women, like those women over there, pretty much every woman in here ain't got less than 10 years. Um, and basically she was saying the, the system <clears throat> screwed us up because if you came in after they made that law, I know you ain't got less than 10. And yep. let me guess, what your man do that got yep. you in here? Basically all of them said, listen, our men were saying they ride or die, da 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 and they ain't turning over for nothing. And then when it was time, they turned over oh. and we in here. Mm -hmm. I said, you know what, that's about a mess. So basically they said, hey, we're going to scratch everybody's back in here because at the end of the day, we're going to live and we're probably going to die together. Uh -huh. So you might as well come on in and, and, and come into the lines then. Yeah, we got baby powder. We got stamps. <laughs> we got envelopes. We got whatever you need. Got some ramen noodle. <laughs> yep. Say, so matter of fact, you can get whatever you need to money get on your books. And when the money get on your books, you go and put something back in for the next for one. For the rest of the lady. I said, that's how you pay it forward, boy. And that's what actually happened at this bougie photo shoot. Yep, exactly. That what one lady was like, you know, I got you. The rest of the sister said, hey, I got you too. And Miss Dubois is over there pissed piss. because your little plans didn't work. Yeah. Not this one. Say the devil thought he had me, <laughs> but I, I, I got, got 10 million. <laughs> <laughs> Cookie walked up out there like a boss, like, yes, come through. And the little guy from the bank, he's sitting in the car waiting for Miss Dubois talking about some, <laughs> I denied a mother loan. She he's said, sitting, just pull off. He's sitting there listening to drip drop. Yeah. She told me to turn that mess off. <laughs> and then the, the white ladies was like, yeah, I'll, I'll find you the money. My kids love y'all. Yeah, love so y'all music. That's what y'all do. That's how little Eminem's are born uh -huh. and created. Yeah. So then we see Anika. Anika comes back and I was trying to figure out. I said, okay, Anika showed up last week. Where she had this week? Well, Hakeem is on his, you been gone for five months-ish and now that you back, I'm really not trying to let you in our daughter's life. Okay, I don't think oh, it's that. But he's trying to make a family with our girl. No, no, I think it's it's the deal that he got with Mr. Dubois. That's true. That's so true. So it's gonna it, that was gonna throw off that rhythm. You think? Mm-hmm. That will go with it. Yeah. But baby Bella, she don't really know her mama, and that's sad. That's, that's sad. really sad. Yeah, I mean, it happens. happens. Yeah, it's I mean, been five months. Five months. She is yeah. so cute, y'all. Yeah. Lord, she is cute. So uh, <laughs> um, Anika said, "Listen, I'm gonna take her tonight." And um, I bring her back to mall. I came said, mm-mm, we ain't going to do this. Mm. Anika said, listen, I know I've been gone for five months, but I'm still that, that child's mother. She may not remember, but don't you let you not remember. Your mama was gone for 17 years. That's still your mama, and mm -hmm. I'm still hers. So don't ever try to play me like this. And I said, that's right, um, Boo Boo Kid. As, as much as we don't like you sometimes. Yeah, you told the truth. You are still her mama, and you basically put your life on the line to save that baby. So mm -hmm. we give you that. So what else happened? I mean, ah, little, 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 little. So put them under this one. We put them under the end when um, oh, Cookie hi. came home. Oh, yeah, Cookie came home. <clears throat> and she said, <laughs> what the hell was Lucius doing? He said, he said, he said, Bella's paint calms is, him down. Yeah, something about Bella's Relaxing. paint that calm, that stress me, uh, give me less stress or something. He was kind, he was spraying water. But before Cookie could actually leave Lucia's presence, he said, "Hey, Cookie, um, would you mind telling me why you were missing for seventeen years?" She said, "Okay, I was in prison." Was it because of me? She said, listen, when we were in jail, a lot of women like to blame their man for the reason. She said, oh, bump that. Yes. yes. It was your fault. I would like to sit down and talk to you so I can get all the, the details. details of what I did to you, Cookie. <laughs> I said, you know what? Ah. I don't. The only thing that I can say as good as coming out of this is that, one, the stuff that everybody holds back and they don't tell Lucius because they know he doesn't care. They're able to actually free themselves by telling him. Now. And he's able to hear. But I don't know. But he's what, the white right now. But so. he's the white. <laughs> yeah, he's the white. It's not, so we think. They're not telling Lucius. They're telling the white. I, 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 he in there though. He in there. Yeah, he in there somewhere. Every time that ratchet music come on, he go crazy. When Sean try to play that, tra that trap music for him. Mm -hmm. He was. Ah, he, always, he always go back to that freaking tub. Yeah, Rain Man. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> oh, 
don't know. I don't know. 1982, we happened it again. <laughs> so then we see Andre. Now, Andre is on the streets in New York looking like a pimped out blueberry. He runs into the detective once again. And the detective was like, listen, you can't really lie to me. You're perspiring. You, you know, you, you're stuttering. You know, your body language is telling me that you're keeping something from me. So, yeah, we want to know about where Giuliani is. But I'm more, impor and more importantly, I want to know how dangerous are you? Because you keep saying that your father's a dangerous man. So how about you? Andre was like, you know what, I ain't got time, <laughs> I ain't got time for this. I, next time we talk, I, I, my I, Lord, Thursday gonna be present. Next time I talk to you. <laughs> so next thing we know, Andre had went back to his place. He drinking a beer all up in his feelings. He go walk out on the um, patio and um, balcony. Yeah, balcony. Yeah, yeah, that's that's the balcony. Um, he looks across the street, and the detective is looking at him. Looking at you, looking at me, looking at you. Yeah, for a little teeny binoculars. With the what now? Little teeny binoculars. Binoculars? Yeah. It's yeah. too late. You know, country people don't never say, uh, uh, uh good night. Yeah, I've been saying it so long. Binoculars or binoculars? binoculars. Yeah, whatever. Binoculars. <laughs> <laughs> you can see a long distance with them. <laughs> you can say we're tired as hell. So, um, and she looking at him. So all of a sudden, I said, Andre about to play with this. Because mm -hmm. you know what Andre likes. Anything that stimulates his mind, which brought me to another point. Uh-oh. Is she in on this, too, with the Dubois? house? Because they said, mess with his mind. Get him up here. So but now, that was the other chick, though. The light skin one. That don't mean that. she ain't got no other people in the pocket. Yeah, true that. She runs that town. <laughs> Somebody called her uh, the head madame. That's so, that really what she is. So, um, she's cross street. Andre looks at her and he gets real seductive, like, and he starts taking off his tie, opens up his shirt, took the shirt off. So then all of a sudden she looks at him across the street, and dials she... his cell phone, unknown number. He puts it on, on speaker, say, what you want? Take it off, basically. She starts taking off her stuff. Like, what the hell is going on? I said, so what is we doing? Air strip tease? Now, I don't know what's going on. I, yeah, I, I'm done. I mean, I really thought that um, what her name Julianne was gonna show up on that guy doing balcony and push his hand for us over because I yeah, heard, well, I thought the detective was there too. Yeah, because I heard that somebody's gonna be leaving the show this year. We don't know who, and I have a feeling it's gonna be Andre. I think Andre is over the show. I'm over so. the show too. So then the last thing we I'm be over. Was, Lucius don't come back. You know, I'm yeah. be like, you know what? Buck y'all. I'm out. Fuck you. So then we see Hakeem. Hakeem is actually trying to lay down tracks again. I was so confused about what was happening. I said, is he trying to be a body double for Chris Brown and he practicing or what's going on? But he was over there just a. I I said, you know what, Hakeem, you're doing too much. You're doing too much. I was like, what? Music sounded all right, though. But that's yeah. basically it. I, I really need the show to do what it needs to do. Yeah, we yeah we just, we just need um, Lou to kick back in. Once yeah. he kick back in, yeah, everything will be good from now. Yeah, I can't wait to hear what the other reviewers got to say about this. Maybe it's just us today. Like the first episode took me for Luke. I wasn't ready yeah, for him yeah. not to have no leg. Yeah, that yeah that was that. Took but me now back. that he don't have a leg, so we what what three episodes in? Yeah, so fourth, you need to turn this truck, this joke around, turn this cruise ship around. Yeah, turn it around. Ah, oh, Lord have mercy. All right, Straight yes. from the VA. The dirty, dirty soul. To, uh, to, to now. Holla. Holla.